Okay. I think we're ready to go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can see this all right. It is a mini tour of the art studio, not to be confused with a minotaur. A minotaur is this guy that has horns like a bull who you, who you might find somewhere in Greece, okay? No, this is a mini tour of the art studio, okay? Yes, I don't do stand-up comedy quite clearly. Well, look, what I wanted to show is just some of the artwork that I've been working on uh, lately. Uh, and some of the um, things that I have in the pipeline, too. <clears throat> Works in progress. I've done traditional icon writing in the past. I've done some more traditional uh, Renaissance and Baroque style art in the past, as well as artwork that is uh, more akin to uh, contemporary wildlife painting. Those I continue to do, uh, people like birds, right? I like birds and other animals. Well, people generally are gonna want the animal that you're painting to look like the animal that they're asking for. So if somebody asks you to paint a picture of a downy woodpecker, they probably want it to look like a downy woodpecker. So something like this, right? It's not finished yet, but it's on the way. Um, on the other hand, if I am choosing to do my own painting, a painting of uh, an icon, say, but I want to kind of break the mold, kind of do something different from what has already been done before. Traditional icon writing, what they call icon writing in the East, now you basically have two main branches. You have the... Um, well, you actually really have three main branches if you really want to get down to it. You have the Coptic style, the North African Egyptian style, which which is really interesting. Uh, but they do have a very, very set standard, a very set tradition. Um, but it is very interesting in, in the surrealism of it, right? You also have differences between the Greek and the Russian style of icon writing, but they still call it icon writing, not painting. There's a difference. The idea of icon writing is that there's a sense that the artist is actually not really the creator of the work, that rather this artist is somehow opening his or herself up to supernatural not only inspiration, but guidance, and they are being guided. And hence the term icon writing is laden with a little bit more humility, less arrogance in the sense that they would say, no, they're just an instrument being guided by these supernatural forces, hence the icon writer. Um, but there are variations of that. In the early Renaissance, you see that the Western artists of the early Renaissance began to break with that Eastern iconography, and they began to add a lot of their own unique elements to it, and then eventually have the development of, of more modern styles of painting. Well, anyway, I am doing a little bit traditional iconography, but I'm also trying to break the mold and do other styles of iconography, where I'm varying the techniques, using a different technique to get even both familiar and different results, even the subject matter being different. This one, for example, I'll disclose at a later date, is, is not a typical subject matter for an icon. Um, this, this is just not even an icon period. This is just more of an abstract expressionist painting out of my own imagination. I think you'll recognize a couple of the characters in it, although a more surrealistic interpretation of them. These, this was um, part of experimentation that I'm doing, trying to basically break the mold of classical iconography. You know, there tends to be uh, a very much a established concept of the subject matters of religious art in the West, for example, and even in the East. But it wasn't always that way. 
And so what I'm trying to do is just kind of be more open, be more expressive to the guidance of that which is outside of myself. In, in expressing, you know, religious experience, spiritual experience, um, not necessarily being confined to um, established criteria, say, of, you know, that, you know, the masculinity of God versus the femininity of God or anything like that. Now, here's a more traditional icon that I'm working on. Believe it or not, I have a... Um, have a client who's interested in the subject matter here, and um, hopefully they'll like the result, put it that way, because the result is gonna be different. Yeah, they want, they want an icon of the Madonna with child, but what they told me is that they're, you know, they're open to, they're open, they're open to it being a little unique and different. In fact, they said they're very much in favor of that. Well, I'm good, I'm glad. Because this is different. This is definitely different. It clearly has some traditional elements, but there's going to be a lot of non-traditional elements thrown in as well. And I think you can see that coming in here where a lot of this is, is my own interpretation and take. So we'll see. You know, We'll see how they um, feel about the finished result. And then the other things I have to show today are a little bit more now, I don't even know what the orientation of this is supposed to be. So that will be up to the beholder. That is more like that. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for the tour today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. There will be a lot more to come in the uh, near future. And uh, that's it for now.